Welcome back guys to Factorio Town Season 2. This is episode 171 with me, Massive Dynamic. And we are, in this episode, going to take a walk over to our new town of, I think it's called Brian Caniff. And we're going to go ahead and set up the, the railroad stations for the town. I'm still waiting for you guys to even catch up to me as far as knowing that we're taking a vote on the setup of the um, processor manufacturing. So uh, as soon as you guys get back with me on that, we'll be working on that and have the town finish it up. In the last episode, I'm sure you realize we built a new copper town that we had talked about, and it is right here. No, that's Brian Caniff. Nope, it's over here somewhere. Uh, there it is right there. It is Rano, the copper town, and it feeds copper over to Sadiv. And in between episodes, I went ahead and put in a little uh, quick uh, shortcut track that goes straight from Rano down and into Sadiv. Uh, that will eliminate some traffic on this leg. Not that there's a lot of traffic there. There's really not. There's only, truly, there's only the one town there. But it does take it off of this area here, which uh, gets a little bit of traffic. Nothing major. There's not a lot of action down there. But I just wanted to uh, put that little bypass in because it reminds me of um, the way actual train networks go. A lot of times uh, manufacturers have a direct rail to their... Um, their um, customer so there's that I thought that was kind of cool so anyway if you haven't been here before to Factorio Towns and I know there's a bunch of new ones here every time uh, every single episode so Factorio Towns looks like this it does not look like a city block it does not look like a main bus system it's a, it's a unique Factorio take completely uh, unique and different from anything that you've probably seen before uh, so we take uh, items in via train and we manufacture one thing in each town and ship that out. Usually one thing, sometimes two or three. It just depends on the item. Uh, for instance, here at Trombudo, we have a stone mine and we export um, stone bricks and stone. And also we make landfill, but the landfill is strictly used by the me and the spiders, my spider army. Uh, and we use that for various things. We don't just land, landfill the entire map by any means. Uh, we build islands occasionally. We build a lot of bridges, like we have a bridge underway here that's incomplete uh, because we don't have a reason to cross that lake yet. Uh, but there's a bridge right there, and that one even has an intersection on it. <clears throat> and also, our towns are named after our subscribers. So if you're a subscriber, make sure you leave me uh, a comment let me know you're here and then uh, you will get on the list the ever-expanding list of subscribers who will have towns named after them right now we have this number of subscribers who are waiting for a town and also the other thing that you can do is if you are a subscriber and you leave a message you can join the discord and then you can come in and play with me and build your own town as some of our subscribers have done so that is our introduction and now we are over here at Brian Caniff in our spider and so we're ready to build our train depot and we are only exporting blue circuits at Brian Caniff so this should be a really easy um, train depot I guess that's the word I want to use uh, so we're just going to make a loop like this it's very simple we're going to kind of, well, we'll make it a little bit more complicated than it needs to be just because we can. We'll do something like this and over this way. And I think that we can get past that power pole. Yes, we can. And, and then we'll just bring this over there and tie those two together because I know that I'll miss that if I don't do it like this, I will definitely miss it. Uh, I can't tell if that is lined up or not. Let me bring that one down a little closer. So, something like... Is it going to make it? No. That... There we go. One of these is going to... One of these is... Nope, that's off. See that? It's always off by a little bit. There and there. There we go. There. Okay, so we are only exporting 
blue circuits so we'll put in our one and only train station we could put in a second one for maintenance trains but we are using less and less main maintenance trains now that i have a, a complete army of like nine spider trons that follow me so there's less need for maintenance trains so this is brian caniff i believe is the name of the town and this is going to be blue circuits and it's going to be export so i should put export on there and this town does not have any imports because uh, we have everything that we need right here this town is very unique in that it has uh, oil and coal and copper and iron all right here within its walls so this is a unique town that takes from raw material it even has its own power plant and makes the blue circuits now the only question that i have for you guys and i'm going to reiterate it one more time even though probably by the time you see this episode the decision has already been made but since as of this moment that i am recording the decision has not been made i'm just going to go over it once again so the options are we can do individual lines of manufacture where we take the copper and the iron and we make the green circuits in a column and then we add the plastic and do the red circuits in a column and then we add the um more copper and plastic no not plastic red circuits and green circuits and we make and also the um acid and we make the blue circuits in a third column so those are the options now here is where we have uh, the plastic being made and there's where the acid is and there's the sulfur for the acid there's the gas um, being cracked and the light oil being cracked down from heavy oil and there's our oil storage and here is our oil now all this stuff is expandable um, obviously out this way so our manufacturing is going to be probably more like down below here I put it up there just for uh, reference but it's probably going to be like down here work its way down this way and onto the train here so the only thing left to do really is let me see if this book has a loader yes that is a train loader right there so we'll put that right there like that and i guess we're going to assume that we're going to have four uh wagons of blue circuits um very doubtful that that would ever happen that's an awful lot of blue circuits from this town but it it could happen if things you know work out that way but we'll we'll prepare for the best situation anyway so that pretty much takes care of it until we get the manufacturing in there's really not much else we can do here at brian caniff so finally what we can do is just go around and maybe clean up a few little things like radars uh, like there's a radar missing over here it looks like there's one little spot that doesn't have radar over here and I just don't like that so if we do this I think that should cover this of course if I put it inside of the uh, power range then that would work better there so there and then there's a corner up there that doesn't have radar we should probably fix that too while we're at it I like to be able to see everything in case of a biter attack or something. Um, we can see what's going on and makes our, our response time a little bit better. And, uh, but we are using a few mods in, oh, that reminds me. Somebody asked me about another mod. Um, I think it's a brand new subscriber that I have not acknowledged yet. Uh, let, me, let me check my messages here and comment on that i want to say just give me a second to look it up on my phone here and that was uh mr abomination welcome mr abomination thanks for subscribing i'll get you on our list here in just a second um let's see mr abomination said uh the module inserter extended mod is what he's recommended it would let the uh, spiders insert the modules and I think it also lets you change modules um, via an upgrade planner so yeah that's a great one I think I will probably end up adding that one 
um, to our list of mods. Um, let me go down here and add Mr. Abomination to our list here. And I think he spells it with all lowercase. Abomination. There, there, there you go, Mr. Abomination. Thank you so much for the comment and for subscribing. And I hope you enjoy the series. I hope you went all the way back to start and started from the beginning so you can see how the towns grow. Uh, but that goes for all you guys. If you're new here, please uh, do the same thing. Watch the entire series if you want to. And there's also season one, uh, which is my original series that uh, was from a couple years ago or so. But uh, anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I think that wraps up everything that we had on the docket for today. So I do want to thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for watching. I appreciate very much that you stayed all the way till the end of the episode. And if you're here at the end of the episode, Mr. Washing Toad, this is for you. Uh, please leave a comment and let me know you're here and advise me of my mistakes. So thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.